Hey, how's everybody doing today? This is part three of the Carson top build. Part two, I had the frame uh, set up. Now I've got a fabric. I wound up going with a jersey type uh, material, almost like a t-shirt. It was very, uh, very stretchy. So I was able to staple it along the visor, pull it tight across the ribs, and then fiberglass it down with, uh, with a polyester resin. Uh, it's very rough, so this has two coats. This just has one. I want it to remain flexible until I get the window insert put in there. Um, so you can see it's it's kind of like a, like a drum, uh, almost. Like a thin material stretched tightly. Uh, on the inside, I've reinforced where the bows are. Still need to do some shaping here to knock this ridge off. Uh, so it's a half inch radius here, quarter inch radius on the bottom, which blends into the visor. I like that a lot. Uh, I just need to shave that little ridge off. I thought it would pull, I didn't think material would pull that tightly. Um, so it's, it's fairly rough. And again, this is all gonna get, uh, I'll put big sheets of fiberglass to uh, reinforce in between the panels and then I'll get it to an upholstery shop and they'll stretch a uh, stretch material over it to make it look like it's uh, a soft canvas top. Also found a rear view mirror. It's out of a 30s Ford. I really don't know what it is. Uh, it was a deal on eBay. Got it for something like $28. I like it. It's gonna work well. And again, it's attached to the visor. Uh, right now the top stops stops on my license plate um, I'll probably wind up lowering it to allow the top to open even further just the reinforced fiberglass it's all extremely solid and it comes down and locks in and I'll devise some way to secure it as I'm driving I have test drove it uh, up to 40 miles an hour uh, obviously with me holding it as it uh, gets up to speed and then it stays down but uh, that doesn't mean I won't secure it very sturdy in fact the car shakes when you push on it this crease will get hidden when it gets uh, reupholstered built these hinges put boxing plates on the outside and then speed holes Tried to contour them to the body line to make them seem more appropriate. Uh, they're not extremely unsightly, but you know, not the prettiest thing in the world, but they're very functional. I do like how tightly it pulled to the bows. You know, it has like an old timey Model T um, stretched top. I really like that look. Uh, it is fragile when, when it only has one coat. Uh, I had it up on the sawhorses and it, it rocked on the sawhorses and came down and punched a, <laughs> punched a hole in it. So I had to patch that up. Uh, again, it's not going to affect it long term when it's covered uh, and reinforced on the inside. So that's part three. Part four will likely be uh, shaping these down filling these holes, put a wood plug in there, sealing the visor. I think once I hit it with the uh, epoxy resin to make it watertight, it's gonna be the same color as the floor. So I don't really think I need to um, stain it. Uh, so yeah, shape that, plug that, continue to reinforce. Uh, I've got some, got some fiberglass on the way. And then hopefully for part three, I'll have the back window insert in. Uh, I went with a 1930-31 Roadster rear window. So I believe it's nine inches tall and 16 inches wide. Or maybe it's seven by 16, can't quite remember. Uh, it's a fairly cheap option. I think it was like $180. It has stainless on the outside and, and aluminum on the inside and it punches through with screws. Uh, it comes with the glass. 
I think it's for Max Auto. Uh, the other option was a Speedway. Had $89, uh, but it was only like three inches tall and 20 inches wide. Um, and I want to be able to see out the back window. And honestly, it's such a broad surface. I think it could really use the, uh, the bigger window. So that'll come in. It's, I think it's on back order, so it may be uh, well into May that I get that. So it, it may not make it into part three. I'm sorry, part four. That's it. It's coming along. If you've got any questions, leave them below. Any comments, leave them below. Like and subscribe, all that great stuff. Hope everyone's uh, staying safe out there. If you can stay home, great. Do that. If you got to go to work, you know, stay six feet apart. Don't breathe on people. And uh, we'll all get through this. All right. Take care.